Hey guys, it's me, and in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys what's in my book bag. This in a lotion one headphones. I usually damage anything. Hey, uh, come here, you look like a music lover. Excuse me, senior. Okay, so before the video starts, I just want to show you guys the book bag that I have. I just have this purple Kinkin book bag that I feel like everybody knows about the brand Kinkin. They were like very trendy like four years ago, but I still want one just because I haven't had one. So now you guys know the book bag that I have. So now let's finally get on to what's inside. Okay, so the first thing in this little compartment in my book bag are these black headphones. I usually use them like when I'm testing in school in case I need to watch like... A video for like a test or something and like why wouldn't you have headphones so the second thing that I have in here is this lotion from Bath and Body Works I would definitely recommend it wait it's the wrong one it's this one uh, I was the right with the first time it is a strawberry pound cake this smells so good I think they have this in a can too but I just got this in a lotion one because my hands always are ashy for some reason. The next thing I have in this bottom part is this paper that they gave us when we first started online school. We like to make sure that the computer is not damaged or anything. So, yeah. The second thing that's in here. I mean, not the second. <laughs> okay, so this thing in here is actually private info. I have like stuff that's really into school in here. So I'm not going to open it up, of course. And that is everything in the bottom. So now let's go to the second portion. So on the top portion of my bag, I just have to unbutton this. And this is just so that the straps at the top can stay together. But once you unzipper the book bag, it's actually a lot of space in the book bag, which I was surprised. So the first thing I have in here is my pencil case. I got this from Justice a while ago. It just says Magic Mermaid Treasure on it. It's so cute. I just keep like pens, highlighter, and mechanical pencils, of course, in it. The second thing I have in here is my computer charger because they require us to bring it to school in case our computer dies. Mine never does. <laughs> but, I mean, I'd rather be safe this arm. So, that is the second thing. Next thing that I have in here is my Chromebook. I'm not going to show it too much because it has like my name on here, like my student ID stuff. So you know what a Chromebook looks like. We did online school for about two years now. The next thing that I have is this notebook. I'm not going to show the cover of because I have my class name on it and also my teacher's name. This is my science notebook though. We use like journal type things now. Also, which I'm not going to show the name of again. I just have my school folder. It's red and I'm not going to flip it over because it has my school name on it. The next thing I have is this five subjects school smart notebook which i'm so happy that the teachers gave us because me being stupid and panicking that i was going back to school i bought like four individual notebooks from like walmart and stuff because i was going to use them for like each class but they just give us these five subject notebooks which i'm happier because it's like easier to carry around than having like six and four notebooks with you so thanks teachers for getting those tools and then the last thing well not the last thing but the last thing like book wise is my agenda book which I write down homework assignments on things I just need to get done in general relating to school I love having an agenda book I usually never use them but this year I'm using them I just write down like different um things I need to do in each you know class Moving on to the little compartment in my book bag, it's just a little compartment and you can put like your name on it, your contact info, in case you use your book bag, of course. And then inside, I have bookmarks. So the first one I have is like the solar system one, it just has like the name of like the planets on it. I like it because it is like super cute and it's like, I love it that they have like the different planets on here. That is super cool. The next little bookmark that I have is this one that I got from like a seminar at my school or like a, a lecture in a type of way. So that's everything in my back pocket. Usually my keys be in my back pocket too, but because I'm doing this video, I have my keys in there because I forgot. And last but not least, on the side of my book bag, I have these little like water bottle holders, which I think is so nice. They're really deep. They go like all the way down, which is good if you have like a regular water bottle or if you have like a little metal type one that you pour water into. It's really deep. They have them on both sides as well, which I really like. If you're wondering why my book bag looks very empty, it's because I usually put like binders and like folders in it. But I started leaving that stuff at my school, like at my locker, because sometimes I'd be too much like in my bag. And I, that's why I only keep like my essentials, like my Chromebook, 
notebook, pencils, pens, stuff like that. So that's why my book bag is pretty empty. So yeah, with that being said, that is the end of today's video. If you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure you give it a big thumb up down below and definitely subscribe to my channel if you want to if you want to see more videos from me. Turn notifications on so you don't miss another video from me. And with that being said, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.